and electricity. Heat is a form of energy. It is the result of the continuous motion of small particles that compose all matter. When a material is heated, these tiny particles called molecules vibrate faster. If the molecules absorb more heat energy, they will vibrate faster. As a result, the temperature will rise. Electricity is one of the sources of heat. Electricity works only when an electric current flows through a closed or complete circuit. In this lesson, you will start to understand electricity and its uses in our daily life, as well as its risks when not properly handled. Heat Importance and Uses of Heat Energy Heat is a form of energy. It is very important in our daily lives. We need heat energy in many different ways. To cook our food, to dry our clothes, to boil water, to make the electric bulb function, and to make the air conditioner produce cool air. The heat from the burning fuels in engines makes cars, ships, and airplanes run. In factories, heat is used to process food, iron, glass, and many other products. Heat also plays an important role in nature and the environment. For instance, the occurrence of seasons, rain, and wind are the results of heat energy changes in nature. Plants and animals also need heat to survive. Sources of heat The sun It is our most important source of heat. It produces heat by nuclear reaction. If the sun dies, the earth will become cold and lifeless. A tiny fraction of the solar heat that reaches the earth keeps us alive. The sun's heat is absorbed by the seas, the ground, the plants, and the atmosphere, the earth. The earth itself contains much heat deep inside. We observe some of this heat when a volcano erupts. We also have hot springs that shoot forth boiling water that has been heated by hot rocks within the earth. People have been using the Earth's geothermal heat to generate electricity since a long time ago. Burning fuels Burning fuels can produce heat. A substance that combines with oxygen rapidly produces heat fast enough to cause a flame. When coal, wood, natural gas, or any other fuel burns, Substances in the fuel combine with oxygen in the air to form heat in various compounds. This reaction is known as combustion. Combustion produces heat and fire. Another example of combustion is the burning of gasoline in automobile engines. The process produces heat that causes the gases in the engine to expand and move parts that make the engine work. Electricity and its uses Electricity helps us to read at night or use the computer. It also enables us to watch television and use other appliances. In our home, most of our appliances work because of electricity. If you notice, the electric cord connected to any electrical device has metal wires covered with rubber or thick plastic. This is because metal wires are good conductors of electricity, while the rubber or thick plastic which covers the wires is a good insulator. Conductors are materials that allow electricity to pass through, while insulators are materials that do not allow electricity to pass through them. 
Copper wires are electrical wires with insulators to prevent anyone from getting electrocuted. Before you can use any electric device, you turn on the switch. You turn the switch off when you do not need to use the device or appliance. Electric current An electric current flows only when it can follow a closed path called a closed circuit. The circuit in the picture has three parts. First, something must push electrons through the path. The battery pushes the electrons. Second, an object in the circuit must allow the current to flow through it. The bulb lights up when current passes through it. Third, wires must connect the parts of the circuit. A wire connects the bulb back to the battery. Proper use of heat and electricity. Heat and electricity are very useful to us but they can also be dangerous. They may cause fires and even deaths. Measures should be taken in using them at home to avoid accidents, injuries, loss of properties, and death. Here are some safety measures. 1. If you see lighted candles and lamps which are unattended or not used, put out the flame. 2. Matches and candles must be kept in places out of children's reach. 3. Check if all the electric cords are properly insulated. 4. Unplug electrically operated appliances like the stove and flat iron after each use. 5. Do not plug electrical appliances into an outlet when your hands are wet.